Tell me that's not the best looking cake you've ever seen in your life. Holy sh! What is going on, Wolfpack Savage here? In today's video, we'll be spectating a top tier, top 1% cracked out player. My dude, Asian boy, I will link all of his social medias and his Twitch platform in the description below. So make sure you guys check him out if you're impressed with his gameplay. And I guarantee you will be. Now, normally we correct the things that a player is doing wrong and what they're doing right, but he's probably not going to have too many errors. We're mostly just going to kind of point out things I'm doing right, as well as the mistakes the enemies are making. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, join the Wolfpack today, also leave a like on the video. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. And as always, if you're looking for teammates to play with, join our Discord community. It'll be in the link in the description below. So make sure you guys join that so you guys can find some players to play with that actually use communications. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are spectating Asian Boy in his squad. 102 enemies left. My dude has already eaten his cake. 122 enemies left from the map. One more. Teabag him. Teabag him. Now, the reason why I always tell you guys you want to play aggressive and speed up the tempo of your gameplay and play together is for shit like that. Do you realize what happened just now? Instead of them sitting there, sitting at the tent, shooting them back and forth and exchanging plates and this and that, they literally got in their vehicle and they bull rushed that team before they had any idea what was going on. And by the time it actually clicked in their head, it was too late. It was too late. There really, for that enemy team, there was no outplay. Wrong place, wrong time. COD luck, it is what it is. They went to a buy station, got caught out in the open. There was nothing they could do. The teammate that ran away that we just killed, that he was telling us the teabag, Again, he had to. He, there was nowhere to, for him to vault over and provide cover. He would have gotten himself killed. So changing your position was his best bet. Now, he probably should have turned around expecting for us to jump off. But again, because all of our teammates were there, he was going to die regardless. It didn't matter. And this is exactly why I want to show you gameplay like this. That way, you guys can literally stay together, go from one fight to another to another. Also, just like the video we posted yesterday, right? These long, drawn-out gunfights, stop it. You're wasting ammo. You're wasting plates. You're wasting time. Get in, get out, roll out to the next one. There's no reason why you can't use cars. A lot of people are like, stop using Big Murphys. Stop driving around. And it's actually a really good strategy, and you can bulldoze through teams left and right before you have the chance to get third party. I'm so fresh, suck my nuts. Faceless? I'm so fresh, suck my nuts. Faceless? That's a, re that's a remix. That's a remix if I've ever heard one. No idea what these kids are. Especially I have no idea what song he was saying. I'm grabbing a UAV. Well, over there. All right, notice he did say over there, but he did ping the enemy, so I'll give, I'll give him that, right? The moment you heard shots being fired, there was a ping on the map. Look how the teamwork is just perfect. While everyone's getting their loadouts, we're sitting here providing cover fire, looking in different directions. Now, a lot of people, I know what they're going to say in the comments. Savage, he's hacking. How do you know? Look, look, you got to be aware of everything, right? We heard shots coming over there while we we're in the middle of shooting that dude with the ABR earlier. So he checked over there just in case. I also would probably be checking over by hangers because you can damn well guarantee there might be there might be fires over there. So you always, even in a mid fight, you want to watch your surroundings. Otherwise, you could end up with a Joe Blow far left, with a perfect line of sight on you and your teammates. So when you're fighting, don't be hyper focused. You want to focus up, but don't sit there in tunnel vision and forget what's around you. Because remember, there's 104 other enemies on the map trying to. Insane. You can't teach that, boys. I'm sorry. You just got to get good with the flicks. I'm getting that finish. I'm sorry. All right, here we are. We got two enemies, two enemy teams. They could be on the same team. They might be. They might not be, but they're spread out. You got one guy at purple building, one guy at buy station. Now, I'm be honest. I don't know why he's not pushing purple ping. I probably would have pushed purple ping first because it's the closest. But we're going to go ahead and go for this guy here. Maybe he rotated and I didn't see it. That's kind of what it looks like according to the heartbeat sensor. Look at this. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. What did he do wrong? Eh. Eh. Cod timing, I guess, right? I probably wouldn't have vaulted over there. Remember, when you vault, you put yourself exposed for that millisecond because you cannot shoot. You're just literally vaulting animation. We knew the guys were over there. Probably would have flanked around from the left-hand side of the shed, but that's all well and said. There's no telling what happened. I didn't realize there was a down over here, to be honest. I figured he was already res because we downed him literally like three minutes ago. 
actually big brains didn't even think about that that's how he that's why he pushed that direction so that's a correction on my part i was wondering why he didn't push purple ping he read the guy going for the res actually pog 200 iq right there that's why he pushed that area he knew he's going for the res didn't even click didn't even click good shit, asian let's go brother let's go i'm tired that, that was actually that was actually big brain right there i wouldn't have read that you shit me crap and give me 20. one more I'm i would have figured he had other teammates and that it was a two person maybe a solo over here ah oh, that kick looks good bro kick looks great Eating a cake right. while sl slapping. Is that a team it's insane. Asian boy is young. He's 16. Like 16. Go Wish I was this good when I was 16. He's out the back. Crack, crack. He's one shot. I got a must in. Oh, sh What's up? Savage, why did he land on him with a pistol? That's stupid. Teammates, bro. Oh, man. What a life it would be to have teammates that would literally give you accurate callouts. He said, crack, crack, one tap. We missed our melee, sure enough. We hit him once the pistol. He died. Accurate callouts. Huge in this game. Huge. Don't be just saying one tap because you hit him once, right? Don't be that guy. We all know that guy. <laughs> rah rah. Because of me, but you didn't have to do him like that, bro. Asian's disgusting. Bro. Houdini, what up, brother? For sure. I just can pick gummy powers, man. Gave me powers. <laughs> it's that cake. Family, Guys, you okay, wanna get cracked as Asian boy? Eat and some this cake. cake could have got my, my stomach faster, but it didn't. <laughs> I mean, at least the cake was good. Get in. Oh, it's first zone. Go, 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 Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's in the mini map. Don't tell me what to do, Hefty. Sorry. This dude low key knowing? Uh, I mean. Come here. Hey. Whoever said that? Fuck you. I bet that's Peyton. Was it Peyton? It's Miguel. Miguel. By cake, use Coast Savage. Miguel. Hi, Miguel. You're not a shitter. But. Oh, right in front of us. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Good shots, brother. Around the corner here? Right there, Bobby, buddy. TKL Pro. W? Someone landing. You, you guys ever play in the game and you're always like, how the f does he know where I'm at? He wasn't even looking. Teamwork. Wow. Guy in the air. Guys pinged. All we did was a 360. We found the ping. We got the hits and that was it, right? Again, ping everything, guys. I can't stand playing with people who don't ping thing. It's annoying as hell. They're sitting here shooting. I'm, I'm trying to guess where they're shooting at. I get clapped from the side. Stop confusing your teammates, especially in a game where you're going to get third party. If you are able to tell your team exactly where the enemy's at, then we can look there and kind of divert and watch our back at the same time and, and go right back to where we're shooting at. It's way easier than sitting here scanning your scope, trying to find where the teammates are at or the enemies are at, this and that, because your teammates are trying to play for kills. Stop being selfish and be a good teammate. Start pinging. I love that. Love to see it. Love to see it. Right here, right here, right in front of us. I don't have an angle on. Most of the time, when people scream "hacker," how did he see? How do you know it's here? It's usually because they had teammates pinging your. Surely, right here. He's behind the wall somewhere. They're landing that cop. Enemy UAV overhead. It's being tracked by an enemy team. Stay sharp. It seems that fight. Also, there. notice his heartbeat um, usage, right? Point. He scans it. There's nothing up there. If there's no numbers popping up, he instantly puts it away and he doesn't pull it out for another like 30 I mean, seconds to. minimum, right? He moves that's around. I'm just, I'm that good that I never. He didn't just keep so. whipping it out every five steps like everybody else. Hold up, the car pulled up. They just got out below me. Dead. Get that PD. Top, uh, top police, top PD. Kids no, tan. Yeah. Top tan, top tan. Mark him. Oh, to my left, to my left, he's already up behind it. Like right here. Right on green? On green? Uh, not on green. No, he's like behind. Like hangers, towards hangers. All right, right now we have green giving out call outs. So there's a guy right here, right here. I thought he was talking about green ping too, because that's where the ping is. Again, guys, even if you have a ping down, if you see enemies change their position, you have to mark it. Right here, right here doesn't cut it, especially if you have another ping on the map, which brings into my second point. If the ping is no longer valid, remove that from the map i am tired of shooting at pings and looking that direction when there ain't nobody there use the ping once the enemy moves or the fight's null and void get rid of the damn ping stop it stop leaving it on the map stop it is he in this um green thing right that here? little bit of confusion could have literally put us in a pinching position what, what? 
He's one shot. Oh, sh nice. All right, activating All right, walls. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Nice. Good stuff. CJ, there were two kids up there. Pretty sure. Let's pop that reload, baby. I can semtex the roof, but not much more. Semtex? No tags. All right, so let me ask you guys this. We had a guy that was called out on top of police station. We were closer to police station. We had a guy that was called out on top of green and a guy that was called out in this building, right? So why did we push this area and not police station? Can anybody tell me that question? Someone answer me in chat right now. Why did we push this direction, forcing ourselves to cross in the open from hangar to the plane and then in the open to this building, instead of just pushing an easy little from this building to the police station? Why was this the better option to push or was it the better option to push? Closer to the zone? I could go with that. Yeah, I see that for sure. High ground, high ground. A lot of times, a lot of times, and I've, I've got teammates and I've fallen into this myself. A lot of times people go for the fight that's closer to them, not the smarter fight. If we were to push the guy on roof of police station back here, guess what has an angle on, on the roof of police station? The building that had another player on top of the rooftop. And why did we not go to this rooftop? I would assume because then we would be pinched between the guy on police station and the guy that was in this building. Now, yes, you could hide behind here and fight us, but if you hide behind this in the doorway, guess what? You're vulnerable from police station. So when you're ever, whenever you have multiple enemies separated in different buildings and they're on rooftops, make sure you pick the rooftop to push that's safe to push to with the highest elevation. That way you can shoot down on the enemy. Don't ever push police station because again, all you have is cover up there is the AC unit and the chance of pushing guy on roof in the first place from the ladder, you're probably gonna get wiped on anyway. So they picked a better fight, the smarter fight, and hopefully it works up in their favor. Bounty oh yeah, and the bounty too, for sure. I got daddy. So right now he's shooting through the walls. Again, a lot of places in this game, and I don't want anyone, I, I can see it right now. Savage, he's hacking. No, it, it, it's an old thing from Counter-Strike. You shoot through certain buildings that you can shoot through, right? And if you get a hit marker, you now know exactly where the enemy's hiding at. Is he in the left corner? Is he in the right corner? Is he not in that room? Is he in that room? You find out a lot of information popping random shots. That's why a lot of people accuse Symphony of hacking because he does the exact same shit, right? So that's what he's doing right now when he's shooting through walls. He's not cheating. Otherwise, there would, there would be a lot of deaths. Well, we, we hold them here. We know the bounties here. All we got to do is find no them. Shooting through the doors every building he goes in. Dead. <laughs> Good shit, brother. Good shit. Bro, look how much money we have. Also, don't ever lay prone. Yeah, Stop it. Especially in quads. Oh, Solos. Oh, what just happened? Solos, you can get away with prone. Quads, you, that's, you know. Never. Left, I think. Yeah, yeah, right in front of me, right in front of me towards the tower. Uh, one kid, one kid. No, right. two kids. So tower and So he's right. over here for sure. So you know how that road splits? One's the left, one's the right. They've got some money, boys. Jesus. Holy It's the most money I think I've ever seen a team get. I see him right here. Okay. And his teammates to the right. Shot. His teammates to the right, CJ. And also another thing I want to bring up. Savage, stop pausing the video. Look, look, okay, this is important shit. Another thing I want to bring up to you guys is when when let's say there's a team here, right? Just like, just like there is. Most people would stay on the lower ground, meaning they wouldn't vault up on top of the wall to get angles on the enemies. They would walk around the wall to get on the grass and then be at a disadvantage from the guys that are hiding behind the rocks. Remember, elevation is key. Having the best position is key. Pushing the enemies from positions they wouldn't expect is key. It's a lot harder for the enemies to watch an entire wall than it is for them to watch a little, you know, a broken area where we can walk through. So you never want to always go through the place where you think enemies are going to expect you to go. Go through areas where the enemies won't expect you to go. Does that make sense? We got to knock. We got to push it before it gets rezzed and or self rezzed. We know he's got other teammates around here somewhere. To the right? Where We've got right? pings going out right now. Unfortunately, he's pinging himself, so it's not really helping too much. behind us. As far as that player there, he's literally sitting in the middle of the of the hangar, no cover, no nothing, scanning. I, I'm for scanning for sure, but Hello? scan as you run or scan as you're near cover. Don't just scan the open, kind of looking around, looking like you're John Travolta in a meme. Like, what the f is going on right now? This is not the way to do it. That's how you get caught up, especially the AUG meta. Ew, it's the worst. Even if you move properly, you'll get caught up in bad positions because of the AUGs. Back from workout, welcome back, Techie. And here we are. I mean, this is this position here with money. We're not even going to talk about this because you don't run into this often. You really don't. 
Scale. They just happen to be fighting the right people who yeah. didn't buy their loadouts, and here we are with fifty thousand dollars. Invest in a four hundred one k. Right. You guys might be able to buy me what? back circle. Huh? I, I'm. I'm. What does she want me to do? I literally told her. Also, guys, you you need to have eyes in the back of your head, right? You have to. When you're running through, think about it like you're in real life. You have to you have to stop putting your back in an area where you're easily shot at. For example, that guy right there had a bush or a tree that was literally to his left. If he would have just sidestepped a little bit and kept running, we wouldn't have been able to see him. But because he was unaware of where he was at and the angle that we had on him, he wasn't even looking. He just it was running straight. Keep your body near cover, whether it's your backside, whether it's your front side, anything's like that. If you spectate me playing, whether it's a good game or bad game, I'm always navigating from cover to cover, and I'm making sure if I'm pushing away from that cover, that that back, that tree that's behind me is lined up with where I think the enemy is going to be, if that makes any sense at all. You really need to start developing some kind of eyes in the back of your head, which is why I always recommend if you're running in the open or you're traversing through the map, getting from one point, point A to point B, you've got to scan around. He should have looked behind us to see if we were pushing. He should have looked behind us to see exactly where we were pushing from, how many people were there, because he had the high ground. He had the advantage. I'm going to assume he had an AUG. He could have probably slayed out an Asian boy, but he just hightailed it and ran, put himself vulnerable, and the rest is history. I literally told her we can just do it later. What does she need it to do, be done right now? Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. Oh, he's an absolute gamer. First Absolutely. Attack, I mean, Terry. Hey, yo, Bobby, you want to go for the buyback and then just get a fucking buddy? You're not wearing a shirt. He's going to use count back? No, probably not. He might. He may make another account. He's been on GTRP as well. I might hit him up and we might play some games. Like flabby titties. They're like, oh, they look good. Repositioning. Match grade? I, that got nerfed, I heard. What do you think's more beneficial? I'm going to pause the video for a second. What do you think was more beneficial? Watching good players learning from bad players mistakes and it's kind of a it's kind of a double loaded question it's a very trick question very tricky to answer firm believer in learning from your mistakes and the mistakes of other 100 percent. that's why our youtube channel is what it is um i do believe it's one of the best ways to learn especially as you're up and coming however once you get past the knowledge that i'm giving you guys and you start understanding rotations and you start understanding you know different aspects of the game when you get that mindset and, and then you're capitalized like you're peaked that's when you start watching better players however on the flip side if you're brand new to warzone and you're watching joe Wo, you're not going to learn much. You can't really just watch a go to game, a go to gamer coming from the bottom and expect to, to turn it up on them. You know, you can kind of learn the way he works the buildings and things like that. So I definitely encourage you to watch better players always, but um, you need to learn from your mistakes and watch average players too. kind of like a slow growth, right? Don't just start from the bottom and watch Aiden. Don't just watch. Don't just watch Aiden from the bottom and be like, I'm going to be Aiden one day because I play just like him because you're missing a lot of pieces to the puzzle a lot. A lot goes into his gameplay, a lot goes into his mindset that he's learned throughout playing Battle Royales, other games as well. You just learn things as a gamer. And it's not even Battle Royale logic that I'm giving you guys, like stay in your cover and, and you know, develop eyes in the back of your head and map rotations, things like that. This is other games as well, just things we've learned over the years that you need to learn as well. Does that make sense, guys? You have to do both. Again, you can learn a lot. Building rotations and how to like climb in different windows and what to do from, you can learn from good players for sure, easily. You can do that within three or four games of watching them, 100%. I do think it's stepping stones to develop the entire the entire pie, 100%. Let's, Wait, let's like, skip what? up a little bit, hold up. For the thing, and she wants to go. wear it and take a picture. I'm like, we can take the picture later. Chill, Bobby, one on ya. <laughs> Facts. Chill, Bobby. Just so proud of you. All right, we got one guy sitting up right. here. Okay. By himself, idle yeah, is. So is he in there? Is he in there? Oh, he is in there. In there. He might turn around to down as well. Chupapi mu fucking nyanya. Chupapi mu nyanya. I thought it was in the hill because he's literally right above the hill. Mu nyanya. Chupapi. Whenever somebody says that, I just think of Doodle Bob. Oh, Dirdo. 100%. That's. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Massive. I was giving in the back pocket so we can rotate and him. I mean, just a beamer dude you can't you can't teach that i'm sorry See, jam right in front of him. Right, so we have it down to our right hand side but we're gonna go ahead and divert and go elsewhere kind of risky because we're pretty vulnerable from right hand side for a little bit now we're safe and we're gonna go ahead and push this team we are pushing them by ourselves nope orange is with us they're mine got a left hand side we got to watch them make sure they don't self-res we don't want to fully tunnel up and try to get the execute so i respect how he's playing this 
But again, even right now, even right now we're in combat with his teammates, I'd definitely be worried about that second guy that's crawling that we didn't execute. Because if he self res this, he's going to have a perfect line of sight on us. It's not going to be a good ending. And then last guy right here should... Is he in the air? Is he in... okay, there he is. Good. Go for the res out in the open. Got to do what you got to do for teamwork. I'm not going to hate on the enemy for going for that. I mean, I probably would have suppressed fire and tried to win the fight. But he was going to lose that regardless. He didn't know it, but he was going to lose that fight if he would have taken it. But theoretically, in all hindsight, he should have tried to, to win the situation Probably instead of going for the res, completely exposed. Cracked him, one shot. One bursted with the AUG for break. Jesus. You can't tell me this gun's not broken. I'm sorry. You cannot. Savage. Oh, we got a glare on the mountains right in front of us. We need to start serpentining. Get the fuck out of there. Very ballsy. That sniper can't snipe, fam. That sniper cannot snipe. We're standing out in the open, challenging the sniper out in the open. He should have had an easy knock on us. Right. This is ballsy. To challenge two snipers with an AUG is very confident. The AUG's broken for sure, but you're challenging two people that could one-tap headshot you in the open, right? I would have probably, if I was Asian boy, because I'm not as cracked as him, I would have worked my way up to the to the missile tank, whatever the hell it's called, and then I would have challenged them. That way, if I went down, I could have used this as cover to protect me from the guys on the hill. That's what I recommend. Fortunately, the people in this lobby cannot snipe to save their lives, and for some reason, they didn't even shoot at us. So here we are, rocking 18 kills, and we look to be getting a couple more here very soon. Cracked, 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 cracked. Enemy UAV on the head. There, I'm going. Who's down bad? Enemy UAV on the head. You have to move. You have to kill him. Crack one dead. There, I'm going. We still have one more guy up somewhere. He might have fallen back to the ridge to our right hand side. That's probably what I would have done. Yep, there he oh no, he went behind the wall. Never mind. Now I did not expect him to hide behind the wall mostly because of the team of snipers up here. But again, I guess everyone's missing their shots and they didn't they weren't able to kill this guy. If I was the enemy, I probably would have jumped off on the ledge to my right hand side and maybe worked the building to try to get the shots off on Asian boy, but it is what it is. Dead. He's sniping for the mountain too. Going this way. And again, with sniping guys, there's just, I mean, you, CJ aimbot. you can make a yeah, tutorial right. video all you want, but it just comes down to practice. <laughs> going for the headshots, being patient. Your first couple weeks, month, you're going to suck. You're going to absolutely suck. But you got to take your shots. You got to take all the shots. You got to practice getting an eye for how you lead targets. If you're not practicing, if you're not taking shots, you're not going to get any better. Mm, I like your idea. There are times you want to wait for that patient shot, but if you're in the middle of learning how to snipe, I wouldn't wait for patient shots. Just go ahead and start shooting at everyone until you develop that eye to how to lead a target. Different ranges require different adjustments. Especially if you use the AX-50, because the AX-50 has a lot of bullet drop to it, which is one of my favorite snipers. I'm getting that right here. Uh, just go, just go, just go. Just, 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 go, just go, just go, just go. Shoot it, shoot it. God, we're such a good team, aren't we? <laughs> this kid's right here. 21 kills! Wait, can I drop 40? At 77 players, we had 10. I dropped yes, 40? Theoretically, yes. Yes. Wait, I lied. No. Hop in. We mm. literally have to kill everyone. Not a chance. Down them. On top. And this sniper. Second floor, um, second floor. They're gonna push in, CJ. Sniper across the way, bro. Yeah, no. Yo. He was screaming about his flying in the building. Meanwhile, his girlfriend or mom was in the back yelling at him. That was awesome. Um, okay, so I'm, there, you, there you have that. Uh, what, what do I say? What do you say in this position? Yeah, I knew that was coming. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't see that. <laughs> that what an animal. What a, what a boss move. Busting into the window, hitting the enemy from an area they definitely did not expect. Um, and la-di-da, there you have it. Uh, I'll just continue. I'll pretend like I knew that was supposed to happen. <laughs> what an animal, dude. What an absolute animal. Again, that just comes with map knowledge, game knowledge, and, and knowing what you can actually pull off. Jumping off that hill like that, vaulting through the window with, with a team shooting at you. It's ballsy. If they hear your parachute, they could definitely react. Yep, yeah, right there. But I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Crack them. Ooh! Right here behind the building. Is he on you, CJ? We would have not have survived that fight. <laughs> 
Well, we didn't survive that fight, but the first guy came over, we would not have survived if our teammate didn't help us out. Again, teamwork, right? If you're one of your teammates in the middle of a fight, you need to make sure you're involved in the same fight. Stop with this bullshit of, oh, he's going to get that kill. I'm going to go get this other kill because he's out in the open. No, if your teammate is in immediate combat and you're safe. You need to be in that same fight as him. Stop picking other fights. Again, I run with people a lot that just do their own shit, work together, get your fights because we would have lost that first one in, in an instant. But I, luckily, we were able to get the first kill, the second down. Unfortunately, we didn't We didn't win the third. And I'm pretty sure we're going to use your gulag, too. Oh, I got him. Was that the kid that killed you, CD? Dude, they're bots! I know. Damn, 25 kill game! I know they're bots. Now, to be 100% uh, honest, the, Asian got a little aggressive right there, but he's trying to go for a banger of a game. So, I mean, can't really, can't really hate on him for that. Um, but he definitely shot his teammates with him. For sure, he should have pushed with his squad. But again, he's going for a 30 kill. He doesn't want his squad mates. To steal them kills. So I, I understand, I Asian. I get it. Easily. I get it. You ate all, of all right, looks like they, they wiped the squad out. I think. I hope. I'm gonna land on a. Sh hopefully, get it. Now we need to get to high ground fast. We're in a very bad position right now. We need to rotate to the north, north. Wait, northeast, southeast. I can move it so fast. Stop it. Right, we need to rotate to the southeast and get that high ground before we get gate kept out of this position. So one kid at the buy. Uh, one guy above us as well. Can I, yeah, I can say titties, right? He's probably gonna, yeah, you can say titties. He's probably gonna fly down on his <laughs> Titties! Why do you say it with so much confusion? I've never seen some, you know? Crack, crack, crack. Yeah, same. Shot. Same. We're gamers, bro. We don't know what titties look like. What? Get out of here. There's so many kids in middle circle. Yeah, I'm gonna go fry. I'll be back. All right, here we go. Solo dolo again. And again, normally, guys, do what you want. Right? If you feel confident enough to go solo dolo and get some kills, by all means, slap out. I'm not going to tell you not to. But if you're in a learning experience, just sit back and watch this gameplay. I wouldn't recommend going off on your own in the middle of a, in, in the middle of this. It, it may not end well. Fuck. Holy shit. The solo squad, you really have to have some skill. You really got to have some confidence and some know-how and some, some knowledge. Oh, my God. This is bad. Notice how he lines up the hit indicator with exactly where the enemy's at. It's behind the tree. Now he's safe. Again, simple things. A lot of you guys are like savage, duh, but <laughs> no, not duh at all. Be, you'll be amazed how many people don't use that. Now, Orange Orange hasn't realized we diverted from that fight. Orange went ahead and full sent into that fight. Meanwhile, we diverted through a huge ass audible, and now we're picking another fight. And as far as age is concerned, you gotta, you gotta push buildings with cover, right? You just gotta full on. Push from tree to tree to tree to rock to rock. Don't just go out in the open like that because you know damn well with people in that building, they're going to pick the windows. They're going to pick the doorways. There was a tree to our right-hand side. There was a cluster of trees. There's actually one right in front of us right now. We should have hopped from and dove off the train tracks into the ridge and come up the bottom side. That would have been the best option. But he's feeling cracked. He's feeling confident. Hopefully, he doesn't get executed. Dunk, dunk. He's going to BM me. No. Oh, you may be all right. Hefty big daddy. Now we gotta watch out from the team behind us too because they just down orange. They I don't know, but they may have it. Oh kidding me. Alright. Man's is not missed with that Ram 7. Man was living in that scope too. Oh my god, this is a Peter of a game. Damn! So now we have Orange. Again, he pushed. He, I don't know how committed he was, so I'm not going to slay him for not being in the fight with us. He may have already been across and committed. I really wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Um, but now we're in a fucked up position because we got a team behind us that has a great angle on us that they peek at us from the building, and we have the team in front of us as well. We're going to have to do something. Pushing all the way back across the street where our team just died, not a good option because that place is on the edge of the circle. It's going to get pushed across the street. If you go all the way back there, you're going to have to go all the way back to where you're at now. So I would go ahead and push this team in the building, try to win the fight, and get some some kind of cover. You don't want to sit here for too long because you're going to get sniped in the back of the head. In a 1v11 situation, one sexy motherfucker must win it all. 1v1. So this is exactly what I didn't want him to do. Um for multiple You're reasons than I said. All right. Danger.
Now, if a sniper's hard scoping you like that and you peek up and you see it again, jogging, just change your position behind the rock and blow that asshole. Oh, blow that asshole away. And we got a shot from behind. Yep. Lucky. Giant RIP. So we got, what was it, 25 kills? 25 kill loss. Damn, I thought we were going to win that game. But, Asian boy, thank you for letting me analyze your gameplay, bro. I understand you're on a kill hungry spree trying to get that 30 bomb. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to go too ham on you. One, because you're way better than I am. And two, I, I knew what you were trying to accomplish. But guys, I really hope you learned something from the video as far as teamwork and as far as when to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive. And also when to push back to, to a bad spot and when not to. Because at the end right there, Orange should have stayed where he was at. And by meaning that, I'm not saying the exact same position, but he should have stayed on that side of the circle, pushed in the building, and tried to win that fight. I believe there was only one, maybe two people in that house because he was only getting shot at from one guy. Um, I would have been more confident pushing that than all the way back across the open to, to a fight that was really going to get you killed regardless of what happened. You may have won that fight, but the moment you had to push where the next zone was, you'd have to run the open again, and you would have got shot in too. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, leave a like on the video. The goal for this video is 2,000 likes, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.